Now the starters for the Governor George H. Ryan Trophy, the championship of the Illinois State Fair Colts Stakes for three-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings race 15. No changes. One conspicuous absence, owned by Brian Penske Sable Incorporated in Tim Town of Illinois, trained by Penske, the driver Dean McGee. Couple of the wagering, 1A, Diamond Man, owned by Shirley Levin, Vernon Shire Racing Stable, and Brian Penske Stable of Illinois, trained and driven by Penske. Coupled with them is 1B, the Fast Lane, owned by Penske Stable, Brian Penske Stable, and Vernon Shire Racing Stable of Play Doh, Minnesota, at Downers Grove, Illinois, trained by Brian Penske, Dave McGee is up. Number two is Big Green Machine, owned by Jay Ingram of Davenport, Iowa, trained by Tex Motes, Dale Heitman in the bike. Number three is Cole Hearted Ransom, owned by Mike Ross of Mendota, trained by Irvin Miller. The driver is Andy Miller. Number four, Sport Czar, owned by Shirley Robinson of Miamisburg, Ohio, trained by Brian Stevens, Dan Knox in the bike. Number five will be Walter Brown, owned by Marvin McBee of Linden, Indiana, trained by Bill Stahl, Ross Leonard, is the driver. Six Rattle and Rock, owned by John Leahy of Westchester, Anderson Racing Incorporated of Crete, and also by John Coleopolis, trained by Joe Anderson with Ryan Anderson driving. Seven is Tribal Chief, owned by Cario Stable of Huntington Beach, California, trained by Irvin Miller, the driver Eric Ledford. And number eight, Major McIntosh, owned by Mark Franzen of Big Rock, Willard Nelson of Morrison, trained by Mark Franzen, the driver Tony Morgan. The 15th and final race of the day, another $60,000 purse, the Governor George H. Ryan Trophy, five minutes to post. Kyle, from the start. Here they come. They're off and pacing. There goes Tribal Chief out for the lead. Rattle and Rock is also flashing early speed, followed by Big Green Machine, who gets away third toward the inside. And then Sport Czar, who angles out toward the center of the track in fourth, heading on to the first turn. Rattle and Rock moves up and gets the lead by a length and a half. Tribal Chief settles in second. Big Green Machine goes third by two. Then Diamond Man is fourth. Major McIntosh goes fifth. Sport Czar is parked in sixth at the quarter mile mark followed by the fast lane, conspicuous absence, cold-hearted Ransom and Walter Brown. 27 and two was the time for the opening quarter. Rattle and Rock leads it. Now, here comes Diamond Man, moving up on the outside. Diamond Man from third to second, and now the challenge for the lead. Diamond Man puts ahead in front. Rattle and Rock goes second by a length and a half, followed by Major McIntosh, third on the outside. Tribal Chief gets shuffled back and forth. And on the outside, the fast lane moves up a closer fifth, three lengths off the lead, the half in 55 and three. Big Green Machine is coming off the rail from sixth. He's four lengths from the front, followed by cold-hearted Ransom, conspicuous absence, Walter Brown and Sport Czar. On the turn, Diamond Man has made the top. Major McIntosh draws alongside. Half length separating them. Rattle and Rock is locked on the rail in third. Anderson looks to his right. He sees Dave McGee drawing alongside with the fast lane. Top four separated by two lengths off three quarters and 124 and four. Diamond Man, Major McIntosh, the fast lane goes to the far outside. Eighth of a mile to come for the Governor Ryan Trophy. Into the stretch, Diamond Man, chased by Major McIntosh, Rattle and Rock, desperately hunting an open lane. He hasn't found it yet. Here he comes, but the wire's coming quickly. Diamond Man hanging on. Diamond Man wins the State Fair title by a length. Rattle and Rock was home second, and the fast lane was third in 151 and two. About to move into the winner's circle, a three-year-old son of Cole Muffler, owned by Shirley Levin, Vernon Shire Racing Stable, and Brian Penske Stable, the latter based in Downers Grove, Illinois, trained and driven by Brian Penske. Here's the 1A, Diamond Man. The winner bred by Brent Johnson and Cottonwood Farm of Big Rock, Illinois. Not a bad day for Sire Cole Muffler. Five winners on today's program. Joe Hampton, Director of Agriculture for the State of Illinois, will be presenting the trophy on behalf of Governor George H. Ryan. To the winning connections. Before he gets away, let's see if we can grab Brian Penske. Get a word with him as right now he confers with the caretaker, Brian. 
some final instructions there. Come on over here a moment. Brian, good to see you. This is always a fun place to meet, huh? Yeah, it's a good place to meet. Brian being congratulated by the co-breeder, Terry Hunt. Brian, first of all, a lot of people were talking on paper. What do you think about the talent of this year's three-year-old pacing crop? This is not a bad bunch. Uh, it's a pretty deep group. Uh, looks like everything, uh, you know, whoever gets the best trip got the best shot to win uh, with this group. And uh, they've been playing uh, back and forth all season as to who's the best. And uh, we're just glad that we had our shot at it uh, for a little while anyway. So often we think of track position being important on a half-mile track. Even on a big track like the Illinois State Fair, for example, your decision to go to the top when you did fairly early in the race, can track position still be important here? Oh, definitely. Uh, everybody was kind of playing a chess game out of the gate as to who was going to be up front and who was going to position themselves uh, around the favorites. And it uh, looked to me like I was going to be their first over, so I went ahead and moved them right onto the front. Not a bad move because you're a winner. Brian, congratulations. Thanks again, Kurt. Brian Penske, winning driver in the championship final of the three-year-old pace.